Hello everybody and welcome back to the Buffalo Bills franchise here on Madden NFL 11. We're getting right into this game because I need to finish it quickly. Um, we're playing in a Super Bowl rematch, the Saints. Uh, Super Bowl rematch from last season, and if you don't remember, we pretty sure had one of the most boring Super Bowls in our franchise. Um, had no problem taking the Saints and beating them, and some people were actually telling me that Scott Chandler might have been on the Saints, and then it turns out that Nah, you just misheard me. That's fine. But this is going to be a big deal because it's against a 90 overall team. It's in New Orleans. And the good news is, is that Vince Young gets to play in a dome. Huh? Huh? We don't have to see him be completely inaccurate because that's going to fix his problem. <laughs> it's because of the wind. Okay, we destroyed the Broncos last week. Hopefully that got this team back into a feeling of like, okay, we're a Super Bowl winner. We can do this. We're 3-1. and one. This team's 2-2. Two and two. Let's not be terrible against the NFC South, huh? Now we start off absolutely dreadfully with a 10-yard run. 9-yard run. Looked like it was 10 at the end, but then they said no. Now, this team is known for throwing the ball. They've got Drew Brees, but they also have, like, s scary good... Never mind, I take back what I said. They have good running back in Pierre Thomas, but they have Drew Brees as their quarterback, so I'd recommend throwing or running the ball constantly. See, my brain didn't even want to say that. And instead, they get st stood up immediately. Nice tackle there by Puzlozny. I was a little worried he was going to get an animation because he was going aggressive and trying to get the ball out for something that would allow him to break free, but nope. Okay, good blocking. Again, got in the way of Harvin, but that's fine. Got to 32. Now we're going to start throwing. Okay, let's, I guess, get this out of my system early. Okay, there we go. Good pass on the run by Vince Young to Spiller. I'll take that. 34 yards. Or was that these past couple of weeks? And as he throws, I'm not blaming him on that. I think his, if you watch carefully, yeah, the, his own player bumped him. It's because that offensive line is so dreadful. Um... We're gonna pass this. It looks like a blitz on the left or the right side. Um, good block there by Sean Nelson on a broken play that the camera was honestly a bigger threat to us than the players were. Okay, we have Fred Jackson to the right. Another blitz. Uh, we'll just take this. We'll just take this and slide. Good play there by Vince Young. Take what the defense gives you. And our first run by Fred Jackson goes for 10. This first quarter is almost over, and we should have a touchdown right here. Yep, oh, that's pretty sad when Fred Jackson's faster than you on the edge. That is not an impressive moment for you, my man. So I think Fred has five touchdowns in five weeks. Um, honestly, his biggest threat is probably LaShawn McCoy on this team at least. But honestly, his biggest threat is always Adrian Peterson. Okay, Bird has an open hit stick to Reggie Bush, but wasn't a conventional hit stick, but we'll take it. That should knock Bush right onto the field. Never mind. Hmm. Must have woke him up. Good tackle there by Bird. That is Tampa's only victory. It was beating us. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. That's something we can be proud of. Hopefully they'll go 1-15 and we can use it as inspiration. <laughs> Going deep. One on two back there. And Bird does whatever that was and allows an amazing catch. I will say... The animation selection in Madden for deep passes is absolutely abysmal. 
and, you know, doing a SWAT is probably, like, W, which isn't even a real button on an Xbox controller, so... <laughs> That's always been my main problem with the Maddens, is that if you're in a good position to pick the ball off, then you must also be in a good position to actually knock the ball down, right? It's very rare that you can say, man, if I had, you know, like right there, that should have been a, a knockdown, but instead he gets a catch animation because my player was stuck doing a, you know, twirl in midair. Almost missed the extra point, though. So if we could have stopped him, maybe they go out with zero points. Okay, Harvin back to return. Decent return to the 25, almost into the first quarter. At least our offense looked decent on that drive. We'll send Spiller deep and see if we can get lucky. Little 360 and McCoy drops it. Okay. Not blaming McCoy for that. The offensive line is dreadful. I probably need to try to get... Hold on, let me waste a time out because my coaches are stupid and keep calling Wildcats. It's like a handicap at this point. That's a perfect... Terrible pass, actually, when you think about it. If it had hit Tolbert straight on, he's probably able to take it for a first down, but at least he hit him. We have to take the small benefits. We're getting there. Fred Jackson is just Fred Jackson. This continues third down. I mean, I don't think I've ever called more run plays in my life in Madden than in this franchise with Fred Jackson as my running back. <laughs> I've just never been that confident I'd rather throw the ball. Because it's like, oh, it's third down, run the ball. Or no, pass the ball, why would you run it? It's third and ten, but it's Fred Jackson, so like that's why you run the ball. Because of this. Because of the 30-plus year old that's outrunning a safety to the corner of the end zone for a 47-yard touchdown. Let's just put this right through the uprights, lag and all. 14 to 7. Okay. And the kickoff was basically a nothing. Um, I wonder if Lindell's going to, like, easy his way into the kicker of the year again. Okay, not a great, not a great uh, tackle there by Spikes when he was going through the line, but good recovery, realizing that there's no, you know, quarterback with a ball in his hands. And again, McDermott with his zone defense. We need to try to stop him because we have to get a lead. I want a 10-point lead. trying to get to somebody to try to get a fumble, but nope. Would you like to play, you know, would you like to turn into the guy on the other side of the field, though? Huh? Don't lie, you do. Good fight through the block by Kyle there. Yeah, Fred Jackson's just having a stinking insane game. Like, I feel like our quarterback should have won MVPs during this franchise, but it's just always been Fred Jackson, so who cares? I don't know if Kyle Williams is just getting bullied right now. And Paul Puzlesny gets the first SWAT animation in world history just to knock it out of Greer's hands. Really, Paul? Really? Okay, Kyle, it's... Nope, both of you got bullied this time, and you got bullied again. That was the worst part. Good play there by Chris Kelsey. We'll have a chance to get a 10-point lead before the half. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, no. Well, hey. Been always inside the 20 still. No. He got a good stat. I think Harvin has done literally nothing all season. 
As you know, he has that one touchdown. Okay, this is just wide open, so why even bother not? There we go, Percy Harvin. There we go. Get your name on the touchdown list with a deep one this time, huh? Just blew right by it. That's the power of a running back that had a 47-yard touchdown run. Probably thought we were going to take it easy because we're getting the ball at the second half. Nope. That way we're going to get the ball in the second half. We can waste all the clock. Or at least have a really long drive with Fred Jackson. Whitner, good tackle on Meacham. Another tank driving by. Worst part about it is there's no time during the day when they are quiet. It's just different levels of pain. And a wide open person because, believe it or not, drone is terrible. Or drone. Believe it or not, zone is terrible. Sorry, headaches. Well, that was the saddest. That was the saddest run play. I literally can't commentate with how loud those cars are outside of our house. The uh, that was probably the saddest attempt at a run play I have seen in my entire life. Stroud just gets right through the line, and Pierre Thomas just runs into him and is like, "Hello, let's just fall over and just get to the next play." That was uh, that was embarrassing. Nice bat down by T uh, Terrence McGee. I'm glad I didn't turn into him that time. Good play. I don't know how to do swats, so. Another bat down by McGee. Okay. Not a guarantee that they can make it from here, by the way. We saw their kicker is very shaky. Especially for being in a dome. Never mind, right down the center. Okay. First kick of the game. Okay, we're just going to let the clock waste unless we get a huge run by Fred and take this to the second half. Okay. Uh, I did get like six of them on top of each other, but... The spin was as slow as possible. Um, uh, you know, let's just send Lee Evans deep. I don't care anymore. Well, Lee Evans just doesn't have the same speed that Harvin has. So I'm not getting mad at him for that. He's got like 93 speed, I think. Fred Jackson for another gain of seven. And we're just going to let the clock run down because we don't want them calling a timeout if we don't pick up the first down so the end of the first half um 21 to 10 we got our two possession lead it's actually better than a two possession lead because usually i try to go for 10 which is a touchdown and a field goal at least with the lead i have now they have to score two touchdowns and a field goal from us puts us into a true two possession lead so Hopefully next half we uh, come out strong. Our offense has been looking great ever since we got done with Big Ben, which I'm not surprised. Big Ben always helps my team start winning games. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better time to get Big Ben. And Percy Harvin decides to not even bother going on offense as he's just going to run the ref right over and take this all the way to the house. Been a while since Percy Harvin's gotten a kick return touchdown. There we go. And Lindell right down the center, and now they start with the ball in the second half, but the difference is we're up by almost three full scores, so. Take as long as you'd like, Saints. Here's the ball back. Okay. So again, keep them in bounds. Hope they run the ball a lot. Oh, not on the first play. 
And it's an incomplete pass. This team is uh, falling apart. And we're about to be 4-1. Hopefully I didn't just jinx us, but hey, jinxing is fine. Unless it's not. Greer, come on. Nice push out of bounds there. I feel like there was an illegal use of hands to the face on the offensive line, but I don't think I've ever seen that penalty called in this game either. Brandon Spikes tackles huge there. Kyle was there to help him too, but wasn't needed. Who do we have on them? Okay, it's a linebacker. I might want to hurry up and get to the quarterback. Nope. Drew Brees is going to throw Pozlesny into the defense on that play. Nice. Third and eight. Love to get off the field and get... Oh, never mind. McAlvin's going to get a pick. And he's going to break two, and I don't think anyone's going to catch him here. Nope. He's gone. Leotis McAlvin, pick six, 90 yards. Yep. This is the same team that lost to the Buccaneers. Like, nothing has changed. That's, that's the thing that's so annoying. The Buccaneers just beat us, and then we go to... 14 to 7, 52 to 14, and now 35 to 10. Yep. Okay. Let's get Johnson move over a little bit. Give the guys on the right side a chance to get in. A good tackle there by Simpson. Our mainly special team safety, but he comes out from time to time. And I shouldn't even, like, that's not even an insult to the guy. The guy's a beast on special teams. Oh, that was an absolute embarrassment of a tackle. I think he's forced two fumbles. So, on special teams, which is crazy. We know we're deep in the defensive lineup when, uh, oh, penalty. We'll take that. Hopefully that'll kill their momentum. Another player that I've kicked off the team about six times, but they keep bringing him back. Arthur Motes, you could have had a pick six. Come on, man. Drew Brees is looking rattled. This is very deep in our... We have Percy Harvin playing corner right now. Oh, boy. And he dropped it. This Saints team, looking shaky. We might give them the haymaker that ends up knocking them out of the playoffs. Depending on if they can pick themselves back up from this. I mean, to be fair, it's a wide receiver playing corner. So, what did you expect? I would like, uh, okay, Bird's back out, Kyle's back out. Okay, everybody's back out that's at least in the right position now. So, terrible pass by Breeze. At this point, they're wasting their own time. The big boys have almost got a pick there. Wish I knew what Drew Brees' passing stats were. That'd be hilarious. Oh, your booty's out there. Um, and I think Percy Harvin's back out. Yay. And Mabin picks it off. And gets tackled at the 50. And he's injured. Well, at least he goes out with a great play, huh? Not surprised. Everybody on the team was gassed. So let's take some time and get them back up to... Full stamina. Okay, he's fine. Just a little injury. So probably stamina based more than anything else. We're just gonna keep running this ball. You can't do anything to stop it. That's not stopping it. <laughs> and another injured Saints on the play. Oh boy. 
Fred Jackson's about to hit 100 yards rushing again. Ooh, they actually stopped him behind the line. Okay. Well, not behind the line, but at the one inch mark. I'm just going to run this. I don't care. Do something about it. <laughs> you can't. We got to give our defense a chance to relax. So that'll take us to the end of the third quarter, and everybody on the defense should be back up to full rested. We only have five first downs the entire game. Oh boy. No wonder they're so exhausted. Like I said, we're going to get them some time. So I'm not even throwing it. I'm literally just going to keep running the ball. This should be a QB draw or running back draw. QB draw, that's Josh Allen's favorite play to run. Oh, wow, they actually stopped it. That is very rare for people to stop my halfback draws. Even when they're out of shotgun. Let that clock go under four. Snap it here. Not anything great, but we'll take it. I'm actually going to go for it here, too. I don't care. We're going to put Spiller on a drag route and see if that will get us anything, and then put Toll Bear deep. And first down. Little concept to keep the linebackers honest and backed up from Tolbert. And then they're too slow as long as we have an accurate pass. So. Another run. Fred Jackson for like three. Going to be able to get to the two minute warning easily now. This is such an easy play to do that, but I'm not. I'm going to resist the urge to get my players injured from being fatigued. Okay. Lost a yard, but no matter. That's the two-minute warning. Great plays overall for this game. Finally a deep pass to Percy Harvin and a kick return touchdown. Pick six by McKelvin. Just an all-around great plays. And uh, I'm not even going to bother kicking this field goal. Again, we're just going to take the gamble. And we're up 35-10. to 10. This isn't much of a gamble. In fact, uh, where are you, Spiller? Drag, okay. Snap the ball. Looks like it's going to be a blitz. It is a blitz. Vince Young gets out of it. It's going to be a holding because our offensive line is dreadful. We're going to go for it again. I don't care. Very unlikely to pick this one up, but I don't care. Okay. Whatever. We got our team a nice long break. So everybody, yep, everybody's back out that's supposed to be. Incomplete pass by Breeze. Okay. Kyle Williams gets bullied again, and again, and again. Oh, Whitner with a fumble, but it's going to be picked up by the Saints. That's fine, at least we, ah, uh, they're going to give it, okay, so it wasn't a fumble, so it's still, the t clock should still be running, okay, it is. Okay, two yard out route, yep. Death by a thousand paper cuts. And he's in bounds, so 35 to 10. Still 35 to 10. We're going to do a blitz, which is going to turn it to man defense, but. Oh, that was actually a really well called play right there, Saints. 
Impressive. That touchdown should make the fact that Drew Brees threw one to us a little less, you know, painful. And now just three running plays with Fred or two or however many they're going to force us to run. Should be just one. Yeah, it's going to be just one. If they call a timeout, I will be greatly shocked. They have no chance. Yep. Anyways, guys, this has been week five in the NFL's fourth season with the Buffalo Bills franchise. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're happy we're back on our winning ways. Um... Go down to the comments and let me know a game you guys would like me to play on once Madden is over. And I hope you all have an absolutely great day. Bye everyone.